Okay, so we'll be doing chapter 5, which is indices and logarithms. We'll start with indices. For indices, it's mainly like a to the power of n, which is which means a number to the power of another number. And a cannot equal to zero. For example, we cannot do like zero to the power of one or zero to the power of two. It does not exist. Next when a to the power of 0, it is definitely equal to 1, where a does not equal to 0 as well. We'll do some examples. For 2 to the power of 0, it is equal to 1. And for 25 equal to the power of 0, it's also equal to 1. For whatever number to the power of 0, they are all equal to 1. We we'll then go for to a to the power of negative n. When a is to the power of negative n, when the power is in negative form, we can convert it into 1 over a to the power of n. In this case, when it is, it is as the numerator, the negative sign doesn't have to be there for the power already. So for example, 2 to the power of negative 4 is actually equals to 1 over 2 to the power of 4. Note that you do not have to put the negative sign for the 4 as it is already in a fraction sign. Put it under a 1. Or another example. When 3 to the power of negative 2, we can write it as 1 over 3 to the power of 2 d for this is a bit more complicated a to the power of m over n then it will become this or this. You do a few examples. If 2 to the power of 2 over 3, it is actually equal to, you can do it by separating it. Like for this is actually 2 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of 1 over 3. We combine them both. 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 3 is actually cube root. So it's this. Or actually, it can also be this. Okay, so this is for indices.